Hi guys, welcome to another video on Tech with Shakul. So today's agenda is very simple. We just want to discuss why Zakir Khan said this. Oh, Badal is very important. <laughs> Well, absolutely not. This is not the agenda. So I want to understand in under 10 minutes, I will explain to you what the heck cloud is. Now, cloud is an infinite pool of resources. These resources are basically IT resources like hard disk, hard drives, RAM, computer, CPU, anything that you can imagine in the IT world is a resource. We call this as compute in the IT world. So this is what cloud is. It's just a pool. Now, before we dive into what exactly cloud is, we should understand why is there even a need for any such thing. So let's say on a Sunday afternoon, you wanted to eat Chinese. You had that craving for spicy, tangy Chinese food. So what do you do? You hire a professional chef, you pay him whatever he wants, you give him tons and tons of vegetables, spices, sauces, and set up a modular kitchen where he could work. And then you'll be able to eat food. Now you might say, what? Why will I take all that burden, incur all that cost, and get the food that I want. Why don't I go to my favorite place, Ch Chang's, order the food there, pay for just the food and the service and be done with it. I don't have to worry about the chef or the food or the ingredients or any such thing that you mentioned. Well, exactly, that's what cloud is. That's what cloud is enabling in the IT world. Now let's extend this example into our IT scenario. Let's suppose you are the owner of Flipkart. Now, as any other IT company, you have a basic compute available, which is to cater to all the requirements on a daily basis. Now, suppose you plan to scale up your business. So you come up with an idea of Big Billion Day, wherein you will roll out offers to attract more and more users on your website. So fulfill those user needs, you need more compute. Now, one way is to go out and buy those compute. Now this, firstly, is an expensive solution. Secondly, once the big billion day is over, all that compute, all that extra compute that I've just bought is useless to me until another big billion day comes. So there is a lot of wastage of money as well as resource happening over there. So I don't want to do that. What if, similar to the food situation, I had something like Chang? Now that is what cloud is doing. Cloud gives you on-demand delivery of IT resources and all of this, all of these IT resources are available on pay-as-you-go pricing. So I just need to pay for all the services that I consume and I can then go give back the services. It's like renting a computer or renting a hard disk or renting even a RAM. I don't have to worry about all the overheads. Now, this is an excellent solution. Firstly, it's cheaper. It's also an advanced solution. Let's say you went up with the buying option and your sales team expected that there will be 1 million users on the big billion day and you went ahead and bought the compute for let's say 2 million users just to keep safe. Now what happened surprisingly 10 million or 15 million users came up on your website. So imagine, can you imagine Sachin Mansal running on the streets just to buy that additional resource to cater to the extra 9 million users? That's not gonna happen. He will turn to cloud. Now cloud helps you scale up and scale down resources based on your demand. So as your demand will scale up, you can scale up your resources as well. Now this is cool, right? Now you might wonder how on earth is companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, which are the key players, key service providers in cloud industry, enable us to do this? How does they create an infinite pool of resources known as cloud? All these companies own, operate and maintain all this compute. But what happened to the cost? How do they incur the cost that is coming? All of the cloud industry is based on the fact that there are tons and tons of such in bundles out there, meaning there are tons and tons of users who want to use cloud. And this is a fact. This industry was a $13 billion industry in 2011, which rose to $32 billion industry in 2017. And as we speak, it's a $150 billion industry. So it is continuously expanding. Now, if and only if everyone stops to use cloud, all these cloud service providers will incur a loss, but that's not gonna happen. Fun fact, it takes around five minutes to spin up a virtual machine on an AWS cloud, as opposed to minimum a day require, required to set up the similar PC at home. So cloud enables you to reach market on time. It gives you disaster recovery. It gives you data backup. It gives you all the 
cognitive services available like AI, IoT and everything without owning anything. So that's the key. So I think I was able to explain to you in a short video that what cloud is. Now what are you waiting for? Sign up for cloud today and thanks a lot.